talking about plant bugs. Hi guys, welcome Nine Links. This is your host Alex, and thank you Elena for the introduction. Um, gonna do another video. Uh, today's video, I'm gonna do about we're gonna talk about bugs and stuff. The um, reason I want to do bring that topic up is that uh, just recently um, my wife Champaga, I noticed there are some spider mites. Uh, I don't know if you. I watched my other videos uh, on White Champaga, one of the videos that I actually uh, mentioned that uh, I haven't experienced any bugs at that point. Uh, apparently, uh, I spoke too soon. Uh, now, I want to bring attention to first two things. First thing is that uh, bugs will always, always be there, will always be there. There's no way 100% to eliminate them. Second, there are natural occurring bugs and there are those that uh, hitchhikers coming from other plants and uh, there's just no way you can prevent them uh, just had to basically stay alert alert and uh, check on your plants often um, now some uh, the three main bugs that I can think of that probably uh, causing trouble for any plant uh, you know growers uh, first thing is uh, spider mites uh, very notorious and everybody knows about them uh, second is the uh, mealy uh, bugs um, and the third is uh, scales all these three types they have many different forms different uh, within their own uh, family they're, they're different kind so uh, I'm not going to go into detail which kind is for which plant uh, basically just going to touch briefly on how to get rid of them and what they look like Okay, we're gonna start off uh, with the scale. Okay, the scale is more of a a bug that uh, is you can tell it's kind of like a bumpy, uh, scaly um, bug. Once scale set on your plants, once they find a spot, usually on the uh, branch, um, once they find a spot, they're gonna just st stop there and then um, start to. Uh, form a kind of a dome shape uh, scale and they just uh, suck the plant's juice from there. They don't move about, they just stuck in that one place and you can tell really easily. The, only, the uh, bad thing about scale is that uh, you can't really kill it once they start to form the dome shape onto your plants. I mean, you can kill it using different kind of chemical, but some chemical are pretty strong. It uh, damages your, your plant more than actually killing the scale. Um, there are way to manually remove the scale, and I, if you look around online, there are pretty good, you know, pesticide for scale. But most of them will tell you that uh, once the scale forms the dome shape, once they form the dome shape, the scale is inside the dome. So any chemical you spray, it's on top of the scale. It doesn't reach in. So the best way to kill the scale is when the scale, they are still young, they're still crawling around to find the spot to develop that, what I call their home. Uh, during that time, you can use neem oil or soapy water uh, to kill it. Um, basically neem oil and neem oil, what? Now, another thing I want to point it out is that uh, people will say, now a lot of people recommend me using the soap, using the neem oil. Why do those Two things works. Okay, the first thing is that uh, most insects, they breathe through their uh, body, that, like you know, they breathe through, breathe through. Not like us, we have a nose. Okay, they have you know certain uh, body parts they breathe through, and uh, I mean, of course, we breathe through nose too. Uh, but uh, they have certain body parts, and they breathe through it. And when the neem oil, is oily substance, uh, substance, have certain ke um, chemical, uh, what's that? Uh, it's, uh, that when it applies to the uh, top of the uh, what should I say um, top of the skin, it will actually suffocate them. And also another thing about neem oil, neem oil has a chemical in there. Uh, I'll just put that word right there. You can see it. That uh, that chemical in there is that plant. Whenever insect digests that chemical inside their body, the insect turn into a not hungry insect. It won't try to eat anymore. So it will just starve itself to death. Okay, that's how neem oil works. Either through their suffocation or through uh, heavy dieting. <laughs> and uh, now for the uh, soapy water. Soapy water is, as we know, if we wash our hand too long, too many times, 
our skin will be dried and um, very ir cause a lot of irritations and also uh, there's a protection barrier inside our skin will get damaged. Same thing, soapy water uh, works on the, uh, those bugs by getting rid of their outer skin, uh, basically dehydrate them. So the, for us, it's not much, but for them, it's, you know, it's fatal. So I got those two out of the way. Now we finished talking about uh, scales. We're talking about mealybugs. Mealybugs are um, kind of like powdery uh, bugs that crawl around. Again, they suck the plant's juice out from the leaves, from the branch. So um, from the you know, young branch, um, basically slowly destroying the plants. And the way to tell they are mealybug is if just by looking at it. Their body, it's very fluffy and sometimes white, sometimes blue, sometimes green, sometimes yellow. Depends on which kind, but mainly their bodies are very fluffy and they usually crowd together in a group. Um, that's when you know you have infestation. So um, to get rid of it, again, a melee bug is easy. You can use a water hose, just rinse it, rinse it off. When they drop on the ground, they really don't have anywhere to go. They can go elsewhere or they just died. But uh, most effective way is uh, money saving ways. Uh, you can use, of course, all these mentioned I earlier on the bugs, you can go out and spend a lot of money on the chemicals and stuff, or you, they're just use soapy water. It's easy, it's effective, and it's economical. And it doesn't hurt your plants as much. Uh, use soapy water, and um, again, mealybug doesn't have a protection layer outside. So you spread it, soapy water or nim oil, you'll get on top of it, and it'll kill it really easily. And um, Okay, that's how you kill it. And there, now we're gonna go to the final uh, bugs that I hated the most, is the spider mite. Um, spider mite, the tricky part about spider mite is that uh, you have to look very, very closely to, on the leaves to see their, their presence. And also there are other mites that are actually beneficial, not really spider mites. Uh, now, I wanna point that out, spider mite, the name spider mite is not, they're not part of family of spider. They just look like a spider. That's why they call it spider mites. They're a family of mites. Um, spider mites are very, very tiny. And if you don't look close enough, you won't see them. And how the most of the time people find out they have spider mite is through infest infestation. Spider mites, when they start to uh, form, they develop a lot, a lot, lot of tiny, tiny webs. Not like spider webs. Spider webs has a huge space between each web. Uh, spider mites web, it's very, very small, R very, very, um, I'll, I'll show you a picture right there. Um, spider mites uh, usually form in an arch group, and when it starts to form like that, you use a soapy water, neem oil, neem oil mixed with the water, of course, uh, to get rid of them. Uh, now, most of the time, spider mites love dry area. Like, for example, I, br I brought my plants down in the basement, Spider mites tend to love that, but because I stay, you know, alert, I, I check my plants most of the time. These guys don't have a problem with spider mites. There's no spider mites over here. Um, the only two plants I detected this year that has spider mites is the uh, jasmine grandiflorum and uh, white champaga. I think my white champaga got it from the uh, jasmine plant. Now, jasmine plants, um, when brought indoor, it's uh, not the jasmine New Orleans, it's a jasmine uh, grandiflorum. Here, let me show you a picture of the difference. I previously owned a jasmine officinal, and it's what well, winter jasmine is the same thing. Um, I don't know why those two that are more prone to uh, spider mites. Um, you you bring it in, and you I noticed that uh, when I water it, I noticed there are a lot of uh, little webs forming. So I got my uh, little micro. Uh, was a magnified glass and I took a look at it. Oh, there's just a bunch of happy little mites crowding around my leaves. Uh, no wonder it's not doing so good. So the number one thing to do when you encounter that problem, don't try to get it out and start, start spreading and think they will go away. Because if you spray, make sure, especially indoor, you have plants like, for example, if I spray it on this one, make sure my other plants are not nearby because, and, when the water pressure uh, spray hits, spider mites are very small. They might 
blow them into another plant. So what I'm typically recommend doing is if you find, let's say this plant right here, you have a spider mite right here, right on this branch. Yeah, it's sad, you're gonna get rid of the branch. It's easier, it's faster. It's gonna have a lot of population in here. And so you just cut the branch off Make sure when you cut it off slowly, get a plastic bag or something, throw it in there. Don't cut it off and then start doing other planting and stuff. You just contaminate every place with spider mites. Cut it off, check all the plant parts, see if there are spider mites. If there are not, maybe just a few ones. Now that's when you get out your spray. Um, Evan, can you get my uh, spray bottle for me? It's on the next one. Um, you get a spray or, and just start spraying it, start spraying it thoroughly. Um, I recommend spray it every other day for maybe four or five days, uh, for maybe a week. The reason being is that um, first generation you're killed, the second generation hasn't hatched yet. So you, you're still an egg. With the egg, you can't really do much. So when it hatched, you spray it again. Uh, just give it about a week time and you spray it. Oh, thank you. And now I spray, I typically use one of these. Uh, it's easier. Or well, I mean, of course, you can use the hairspray too, you know, the, but these guys, you just pump it up with soapy water and you just go through it. It's really easy. And these are pretty cost effective. Only, uh, I got this one uh, pretty pretty cost effective. But anyway, spray throughout. And also, um, now that's how you kill spider mites, you neem oil, okay? Now, those three pests I'm taking away. Now back to the, how do you mix those chemicals? Uh, not really chemical, but soap, soap and the neem oil. Do not over mix. Now here's the thing, some plants Remember, the purpose of soapy water is to get rid of the protection layer of the bugs. But if you mix too much soap in there, you'll get rid of the protection layer for your plant. So it's, uh, you're gonna damage your plants, basically. So what I'm suggesting is that, for example, I, this is a one gallon multi-purpose spray. It's a one gallon, I don't, unless I have a lot of infestations. If I have only one plant, I usually get one, a fourth of a gallon right here. Just drop a couple of soap, just drop like a couple of soap in there. Remember, a couple of soap for, for human, we're looking at it, it's not a big deal. But as long as there's soap content in there, when we spray it, it has an effect on the bugs. And same with the neem oil. Uh, another thing about neem oil is that um, most people don't do that, but I do it uh, when I spray it. Use, uh, don't use hot water, use warm water. And when you drip the neem oil inside, stir it. Um, most channels and stuff they don't they, uh, they don't say what kind of water they use cold water remember neem oil is oil based it, when you use water on the cold water on the oil base the oil is not going to mix in well and um, when you spread it if some part will come out with very saturated oil some part will just be plain water it's not very equally um, divided so anyway that's how you kill those three bugs, uh, three type, three bugs, uh, spider mites, again, milli bugs and scales. And I will just want to add one more remark before we go, is that um, these bugs will always be present. Um, that's part of nature. Um, it's just that you have to stay alert. And when you see them, just take a procedure, just get a soapy water. It's really easy to spread it. And the more you do it, the better you get. And soon enough, you'll know that, yeah, those bugs exist. But guess what? It's not a big deal. You can just take them out. All right. And thank you for watching. If you have comment or questions, leave it down below. And also, yeah, please click a like and thank you. And thank you, Elena.